Good evening, everyone. We've said it for a couple days. NMU's hockey team needs to start getting wins to move up in the CCHA standings. It's going to be a tough road, though, because number six Miami visits the Barry Events Center. Jared Coro would start in the net once again for the Wildcats, and he was busy in the first period. That rebound gets away. He corrals that one. It was scoreless. So let's go to the second where Curtis McKenzie to Austin Charnick. You didn't see the goal scored except it hit the back of the net. That made it one nothing Red Hawks. Then C.J. Ludwig, a touch pass to Ryan Doherty. Chaos around the net. Steve Stefan VJ. Eh, eh, we don't know. They reviewed it. And the answer is yes. Wildcat goal. We are tied at one. Third period. Darren Nowak. Swoosh. Nasty little wrister top shelf. That gave NMU a 2-1 lead. And Coral was busy because NMU has a man down near the end of the game. He makes the save. He had 43. Wildcats win. Two. You know, we had to withstand great pressure in the third. And, you know, if I was them, and I don't know what their coach said, but I wouldn't be real disappointed in that effort. I mean, their effort was good, and they had a lot of the generate 45 shots. You know, it's we're going to have to do a better job containing them. It's obvious we can't take that many penalties. Yes, NMU had some sin bin troubles, but able to survive tonight. 7.35, the faceoff tomorrow night. On the CCHA board, Lake Superior State and Western Michigan play to a tie at 1. Ohio State over Ferris, 3-1. Michigan must be missing Mel Pearson, something ferocious on the uh, as an assistant because Alaska beats the Wolverines 5-4, and Notre Dame edges Michigan State 1-0. In the CCHA, or the WCHA, I should say, Michigan Tech and Minnesota Duluth, a 1-0 game, didn't get any highlights, but the Bulldogs took the game 1-0. Joe Basarava, the only goal for UMD. On the scoreboard for the other games in the league, Alaska, Anchorage, and Minnesota tied at two very late in the third period. Wisconsin and Minnesota State going into overtime tied at three. Finlandia men had a goal from Marquette's Colin St. Ange. He also had an assist, but Concordia, Wisconsin won. 3-2. High school hockey, Brett Lepisto, four goals. Hancock, Mercy's, Marquette, 10-2. I'm being told this is the first time Marquette has been mercy by an Upper Peninsula team. Fond du Lac edges Houghton 5-4 in overtime, and Jeffers falls to Sault Ste. Marie, 6-2. Girls basketball, the Houghton Gremlins visit Westwood High School to take on the Patriots. That's Elisa Germu. She's having a potential dream team season. In the first quarter, steal by Kelsey Richards. She puts it up and in the Gremlins have a 4 nothing lead. Pep Band trying to get into it for the Patriots, but Houghton scores again. Natalie Dotto, there's Miss Germu. Two of her 26, she made half from the free throw line. Then from the outside, it's Richards again. And that would be an 11-2 lead for Houghton. Next, nice little head fake, but Katie Rankin and misses. Taryn Moyle gets the put back to finally go. She also scored a basket at the end of the quarter, but Houghton went on to win 56-30. The Patriots will be without Caitlin Hewitt the rest of the season. She broke a leg against Manistique. To the girls' scoreboard, Hancock defeats Jeffers 49-33. Calumet, a buck bucket better than Berga, 34-32. Battle of Ontonagon County goes to Ewan Trout Creek, 37-25 over the Gladiators. Bessemer and Butternut were postponed. Drummond defeats Ironwood 46-36 and was Washburn 60, Wakefield Marinisco 34. Norway sneaks past Stevenson 51-48. Superior Central tiptoes past North Central 45-44. Forest Park drained 13 three-pointers. Lexi Gussard at 32 points. Trojans over Bark River Harris, 85-59. Healy Van Brocklin led the way with four Bark River. Gladstone over Manistique, 52-33. Big Bay to knock in the win column, nine better than Rapid River, 42-33. St. Ignace, 73, Newberry, 27. Brimley, 14 better than Angadine. The Sioux downs Rudyard, 64-43. D tour over Pickford 33-24 and Maplewood Baptist gets past Hanneville 48-40. When we come back, boys high school basketball. 
In boys high school basketball, number one Marquette in the Big Five poll lost to Sault Ste. Marie earlier this week. Uh, will be to the team that had to face them tonight, and that would be Menominee at the Redmond Gym. And we will pick this up in quarter number one for the Redmond off the Menominee miss. It is Mark Papp with the rebound. He gets it over to Andy Nyquist, who launches a pass to A.J. Krizoulis, lays it up and in. Like he was cherry picking. He had 18 on the night. Next, Nyquist, Larry Burnett, nice pass to Mark Papp, puts that one in, and the Redmen are off and rolling. They jumped out to an 11-3 lead. For Menominee, Jaden Clanky to Devin Harris, and he knocks down the three, but Marquette still led 16-6. Next sequence in reverse, Harris to Clanky, who decides, you know, this is a free country. Last time I checked, bang, knocks down the three. Oh, the Marquette will keep rolling in the first half. Nyquist to Burnett, and he's got a good range from three-point land as well. Marquette gets the victory 52 to 31. Also in Great Northern Conference basketball, Gladstone hosting Kingsford. Caleb Harrington will get around his defender, and he will get the hoop and the foul. Kingsford with the early lead by four. On the other side, Jared Hunter will drive baseline. The shot will not go, but he's just padding his offensive rebound stats for the hoop and the harm. Gladstone still down by one, 9-8. Then Dalton Allen will get the pass on the baseline, puts that one up and in, 13-8. Kingsford after one, and the Flivers will keep on going. Ian Winky from the outside, he had 16. Harrington ended up with 21, and Kingsford cruised to the victory, 64-34. Back to Marquette County, rivalry night. Bobby Zolke of Ishmael on the left, talking to football teammate Jordan Ligman. Ligman just suffered a sprained knee Thursday against North Dickinson. Third quarter, nine point lead for Ishpeming. Uh oh, not the rate this is going. That's Luke Woods for three. Lead down to six. Next thing you know, Justin Luke, Josh Richards for three. Ishpeming's lead cut to 32 29. Then the Hematites get warmed up again. Cody Kugler ahead to Tyrus Millimackey. He finds Bobby Zulke. Bobby had a real good first half and did not slow down in half number two with a basket and foul there. Short time later, Kugler to Derek Decare, he floats that one in, and Ishpeman goes on to win this one by the count of 65 to 35. Zulke ended up with 23 on the boys board. Gwynn, very impressive press defense tonight, and Justin Nyquist had 20 points. Model Towners 47-30 over Iron Mountain. John Gravel Jr. pours in 26. Norway downs Manistique 60 to 31. You and Trail Creek and Watersmeet will try again next Tuesday. St. Ignace over Newberry 68-29. And Sault Ste. Marie takes care of Rudyard 70-41. And it was Maplewood Baptist over Hannibal 46-31.